Hey guys, what's up? It's Tucker Sanger from SNS Smithing. Today we're gonna take a warped blacksmith challenge. Alright, this is February. This month's challenge is a bottle opener, so we're going to do a warped bottle opening, which I think will be pretty fun. And then I'm going to take this piece of scrap I found lying around somewhere and see if we can turn it into a working bottle opener. So follow along with me. Alright guys, so this thing well, it used to be a shovel handle uh, piece, I think, for one of those old wooden handles. This was like a back spot you could put your palm on and everything, but it's been smashed, obviously. So I looked at it and thought maybe we could make a pretty decent looking bottle opener out of it. So what we're going to do is try to take this part with, the, with it beveled in, kind of. We're going to push that down. We're going to close this up a little bit be almost like an opening and then use it like a pry top pop. Alright, so let's get working on it. So we're gonna sit this over the hardy hole, use a this store bought round punch here to try to push that down a bit more. Down inside of there. Okay. Next step will be kind of close this, open this up a little bit, and then close up. Or, or where are you? Okay. Next step is going to be to close this up a little bit, kind of, so that way it'll grip tightly around the bottle and pry off the top. This all down into place. Oh, we lost that piece. It's okay. We'll say scrap that part and we'll make do with that. Alright, so far this is an example of what Twan and Dan at uh, Daniel Moss's channel was talking about where you can't let failure slow you down. Our original idea didn't work because that little tab broke off. So uh, next we're going to just try to make an episode go along and figure out how to make it work. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, so let's bend these parts down and around like that. Yep. Kind of liking how that's going a little bit. Let me grab some pliers here so I can move these kind of how I want them. This might actually work a little bit better. Alrighty, cool. Alright, throw those in a little bit. We'll heat it up move this around. So what I'm thinking now is I'm going to kind of close this whole thing up a little bit and pry those apart on either side. So that way it kind of grabs two corners of the lid and pulls it off. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll find out. Let's fiddle with this a little bit more. Kind of like that. Move it like that a little bit. I kind of like that shape. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments if you think this is not going to work or if you think it will work. Alright, now we got that put in. Just kind of squash it all down. Now I think I might twist this. Alright, we'll spread those back open a little bit, then we might put a twist in this. We shall see. Alright guys. Let me go double check, see how this fits on a bottle, and I'll be right back. Alright, right now as it sits, it grips onto the bottle pretty good, so I think I might clamp it in. 
Uh, never mind on the twist thing, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to forge this almost all the way closed back here. Hold it back here and forge that shut. That little loop a little bit. Maybe put a little... Okay, so now let's kind of close this up a bit. Having some alignment issues right now. I don't really have tongs for something so weird like this. But... a bit nicer, yeah. What do you think? Got our curves there. Yeah, I think that doesn't look bad. Alright, let's quench this out and test her on a bottle. Alright guys, let's see how this goes. Ha ha! It works! Check it out. That's awesome. Now, I got a special surprise for everybody. We're going to do a warp bottle open now. So, stay tuned. Alright. Next, we're going to turn the chipping hammer into a bottle opener. Stay tuned. Now, guys and girls, remember always wear your safety glasses in the shop. Have a good day. Alright guys, so once you do that and then you have wine cooler stuff all over your anvil and your shop, instead of going to get your quench bucket and dump it out on it, just take a big piece of ice and drop it over it. Then you can scrub it up that way. Alright, anyway, back to being serious for a moment. Alright, now... Thanks guys for checking this out. I hope Tuan picks this to be into the uh, the videos that he puts out probably next month. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of my other Warp Legacy challenge videos. I'll have a couple links of them in the description or around here somewhere. And then uh, you know, check out some of my other videos. And remember, forge on, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.